Hey guys, Nicholas Bucher, Inventory Manager here at Tom Kelly Buick GMC and we're sitting in the 2022 GMC Sierra. I posted a video yesterday doing like quick uh, first look, if you will, on the Sierra we received yesterday. I thought it would be appreciated to make a video kind of just showing the interior. So that's what this is. So let's take a look. Taking a seat from behind the steering wheel on the 2022 GMC Sierra with the updated interior is such a nice place to be. You can see how different the interior is. This is an SLT trim model. So you have jet black leather interior in this particular truck. You can get a um, walnut. You do have nice wood accents on the doors, bow surround sound two glove boxes. This one's integrated in the dash really nicely. And then you have a lower glove box. Huge touchscreen display with the Google infotainment system. Um, as far as the menus, very similar to the outgoing. You can actually swipe this portion to have different information displaying. The big difference is there's no more embedded navigation from General Motors and now uses a Google system. Um, you've got a home button, music, map, phone and trailering, a physical home button and volume control here, and then your um, other truck related buttons here. You've got your lane departure warning on this particular model, front and rear park assist, auto start stop, opening your tailgate, hazards, traction, traction, and then all your windows you can express down at one click here. I really like how clean that um, HVAC controls are in this new model. So this particular one has the heated and ventilated seats, um, dual zone knobs there, fan speed, and then your zones here as well. Trailer brake controller integrated here on the dash, and then your auto stop button here, your start stop. New redesigned console. The biggest change is they got rid of the old column shifter. You now have an electronic shifter. So you simply just squeeze this button and push it forward for reverse. You'll see the HD camera appear. Park is a click of a button on top. And then drive, squeeze, and pull down. I like that they removed the plugs up here. It's a very clean look. Got nice storage cup holders here. Under the console, you have a slot to kind of lay your phone in when the console's shut. Your plugs are all in here. You have a nice divider. This particular one, the diesel, so you have the glow plug cord there. Looking at the steering wheel, not much has changed here. This one does have the collision alert, auto braking and adaptive cruise, heated wheel, cruise control, and then your media and dr driver information center on the other side here. You do have paddle shifters, that's new. Um, looking on the side here, you have your drive mode, selector, trailering mode, transfer case, auto headlights, all LED, and then your fog lights, electronic parking brake, and then two person driver memory. This particular one has the power folding mirrors as well. This is a digital speedometer, which is really neat. Um, I can show you some of the things you can do in here. So when you change the drive mode, this little picture of the Sierra changes, which is kind of cool. On a racetrack for sport mode, driving off road, and then all terrain. Um, this works pretty similar to the um, similar the other systems in the GMCs. So you can toggle um, right and left between your different menus. So on your info page, use the little wheel. You can scroll through your trip computer, summary, timer, tire pressure, all your driver information center basically. Um, with your radio, you can control the radio station and source here. Um, navigation, you'll get turn by turn directions. Phone, you'll see your conversation, um, who you're on the phone with, and you can dial out a number using the little um, D-pad versus going through the infotainment. And then lastly, you can customize the layout. So um, you can change what information is constant on your left and right gauges here. Um, so you got compass, time, tire pressure. You can see all that here. Same with the other side. You can change the amount of information displaying on the lower gauge. So fuel, coolant, battery, and oil. 
Um, if you wanted less information, you can adjust it respectively. Sorry, it's really hard to focus on the, just the LCD screen. And then you can actually change the style of the gauges. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Display layout. So this is classic as like the analog gauges. Progressive is a little more modern looking. Um, they aren't full analog gauges on either side and your information will remain in the middle. Digital, exactly what you think it would look like. All very um, modern as well. There's not any like gauges on either side. And then lastly, you have a clean look, which just gives you the speedometer. This might be nice for driving at night, something that isn't so bright in the evening. Taking a look up top, similar controls, your OnStar services, sunroof, um, and your home link dome lights. And then the back seat, very generous as always. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I thought a more in-depth video would be appreciated since I kind of did a short first look yesterday. If you guys want to check availability of these new trucks at our dealership, our contact information is in the description below. Also, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we start to create more content. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.